on. So Jill Biden, <clears throat> and I just got a good chance of it. She called, she compared breakfast tacos and was trying to make a correlation with the Spaniards, Mexican community. That didn't go over too well, but what do you expect? You know, I mean, she reads off a script. You know, the thing about these politicians, they put they put people in places that they're not comfortable with. So they figure they got to say something off color, off humor to feel like, okay, you know, you happen to be here. So we're going to say something that is warm and fuzzy, even though it backfires and it's racist as all get out. What do you expect? <clears throat> Jill Biden ain't been to the brown community. She don't know about the brown community. She lily white. What do you expect? You know, but she ignorant too, just like her husband is. That's why we call him Jim Crow Joe Biden, because they have benefited off of, and see, this is where black and brown, first of brown need to get down with black folk as far as like stop thinking you white and thinking that you acceptable because the thing is don't let some of the people who rep who come from your race play you like they represent you see now Jill Biden probably could say that kind of garbage around some sellout coon like Ted Cruz cuz he don't he sits there and he's a sellout and he welcomes that he don't he'll probably tell you that oh his skin just it's just a something there are quite a few who pull that role quite a few you know, act in their role, but they are spies and they sellouts. Like Jennifer Lopez is a spy and a sellout. Fat Joe's a spy and a sellout. I can go on. <clears throat> I can go on. The things they say, I watch. Oh, yeah. Brown folk who will do anything to be seen almost white, even though they know that white folk wouldn't give them the time of day. Because if you ain't acting or they don't know who you are, They'll be quick to say, can you pick up the trash over there? You know. So, when she made this remark, she was doing her white privilege move, you know. Can't be like you shocked or surprised. Can't be. See, when people are comfortable with their racism, they say anything. Literally. Because they know they can, there's no one that's going to take them out for that. You know. The funny thing is when Fox News is calling out Jill Biden for comparing saying breakfast tacos reminds reminds about Hispanics. I mean, come on now. She couldn't even read the teleprompter and not catch herself. She had to go full spill. That's when you know you're removed because you can't even talk about a race of people off the cuff and know you're going to go there. Mm -hmm. But that's your vice president, first lady. And chances are if Joey B is half as smart as he tries to play, he is, you tell us, don't say nothing. But then again, this he's ignorant too, because this trash came out and said, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. So, you know, they they have a tendency to be full of themselves. But that's white privilege in America with three Ks. You will say the most ludicrous thing because you don't really think it's going to have an impact on you. You really don't. Please hit like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts or comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And this ain't no slip up. She said what she meant. I'm out.